We're going to get into converting radians, revolution, revolutions, radians, and degrees. Uh, so one full circle is one revolution, is one turn, one full turn, one rotation, or 360 degrees. Uh, one full circle is two pi radians, two pi radians. Uh, what? And you know, before we go any further, let's understand what a radian is. Uh, basically, what a radian is is a it's a measure measurement of uh, the arc of a circle and how many radiuses long it is. Uh, so if this is a radius of a circle, let's try that again. If this black line here is the radius of a circle, okay, that length is the same as this length along the arc. That's one radius long. Okay, one radian. One radius long, two radiuses long, three radiuses long, and what's left over to make a semicircle is 0.14. That's why pi represents 3.14, or 180 degrees, 3.14 radius measures okay, is pi. 3.14 radians is pi. Uh, therefore, one full circle, if we go back to here, one full circle is 2 pi radians. And pi just represents the 3.14 measurement that we're uh, all familiar with from math. If we look at uh, you know, dividing a circle up, one third of a revolution is the same as 120 degrees is the same as 2 pi over 3 radius measurement radians 2 pi over 3 radians uh, pi over 2 90 degrees that's a quarter circle uh, half a circle would be 180 or I'm sorry half a circle here would be 180 here it would be one half and this would be pi, pi radians. Okay, so take some time to look at look at these comparisons. Pause the video if necessary. When we're converting from revolutions to radians, one revolution, that's two pi radians. Uh, radians degree, uh, pi radians is 180 deg degrees. Shoot, degree. Uh, one revolution, that's 360 degrees, revolutions to degrees. So let's try some converting. So we want to do 200 degrees into radians. Well, we look back and we see that uh, 180 degrees is pi radians. 180 degrees is pi radians. So, to convert this, we'd multiply by, this is pi radians is 180 degrees. So this is our multiplier. That's going to give us our measurement in radians. Uh, some math teachers like to leave it in fraction form and leave, like to leave the pi. So your answer would look like this. 10 pi over 9 radians. Okay. Uh, but if we took that out to a uh, decimal number, uh, which we will likely have to do uh, in order to solve some of our physics problems, then this would be 10 times your pi button 3.14 over 9, which equals 3.49 radians. Leave them in three significant digits. 
Convert 4 pi over 9 radians to degrees. Well, there's 180 degrees and a pi radian. Therefore, pi radian cancels out. 4 times 180, and we got 80 degrees. Convert 300 degrees to rotations. Rotations, uh, you know, we can call ro revolutions. Rotations, revolutions, uh, same thing. Uh, so 360 degrees is one rotation and one revolution. Therefore, 300. Uh, divided by 360 is going to get you 0 0.833 revolutions. Uh, I want to go back to this diagram and let's just show that our converting is correct. If we have 2 pi radians for this part of the circle, this is 2 pi radians. So 2 pi over 3 radians, and let's convert that to degrees. 180 degrees over pi radians is the conversion rate. We cancel those out and multiply through. 200 times 180 divided by 3 is 120 degrees. Again, those cancel out. Our conversion works. Uh, revolutions to degrees. We've got 100 degree, 120 degrees. Let's multiply. We've got one revolution. It is 360 degrees. 120 divided by 360 is 0 0.333 repeating which is one-third.